I've seen so much bad parenting. I don't want to live in America anymore. Because my kids are eventually going to interface with your kids and that shit's going to be a problem. I'm I'm very opinionated and I don't when it comes to my children I, I I'm not very polite of an individual. Um just like Casey, I understand the root of the problem. Because where I live, we don't deal with this at all. For some reason on our side, we live by all the Indians. And my son's Taekwondo studio, uh, there's a strong father presence. Those Indians, you know, a lot of those men are in IT, so they work from home. So they end up taking, just like me, taking their kid to and from school to all activities, to Kumon, to Taekwondo. And you get instantaneous compliance because the second a kid is acting up and they get redirected, they look back like, did my daddy see that shit? <laughs> you know, so that has that father presence. And even if he's not physically present, it's like that over, what is it, ever presence that dads tend to have. I remember being at a graduation, I forget for which relative, and the valedictorian is like, I want to thank my dad. Uh, everybody always asks me why I'm so obedient. And I was like, my dad is much like Jesus. Even when he ain't there, he there. <laughs> and I, I felt that when he said it, because that's not what my dad was. Man, if I, if I, every decision I made, every bad decision I was about to make was weighed against what my father would think about it. That's what fathers do. And it's not just the fathers being there with their children. The mothers either aren't with the fathers, as we know, or they take the opportunity to stray away from the father's teaching when the father isn't around that's a big one right so i think what what we can see on one end is mothers trying to be super assertive but if what my wife sent me last week is to be true she said some study is being done and because of the pheromones coming off of women mothers your children behave 800 times worse i said how do they quantify that she said, she said, babe, read it 800 times worse because of the pheromones coming up off of you. And not only can I believe that, I see that in my house every single day. My children will be here with me, not a peep. They are sitting down coloring or reading. My wife will come in and be like, the baby sleep? No, they're right here doing what the hell I asked them to do. Then they run downstairs and their voice turns from being able to speak perfect words to this whiny, I'm like, what? If y'all stop that right now, where that voice come from? You know, but no, it's it's something that I hold very dear to my heart. That um, you know, my wife is you know she's very, she's also very um intentional about making sure the things that I say uh are consistently passed on to our kids, even when I'm not there. But um, yeah, I just want. All the moms out there to know if you have a man that's, you know, trying to put some discipline into your kids, that's who the children are going to listen to. Ultimately, you can blame everything on him. As a matter of fact, that's that's what he's there for. You get to be the one that love on them and do all that. But if you don't use that, I t I'll tell your daddy often enough. You should. Ladies love the skin. Ow. Bring it a little bit closer. The good skin that is. <laughs> That's why having a proper skincare routine is very important and you need to fill the teach. The process is so easy, just four steps. You got your daily face wash. That's gonna clean your face up nice and right. You got your exfoliator scrub. That's gonna open up your pores. You got your AM moisturizer with the SPM 20, which is gonna protect you from the sun. You also got your PM moisturizer, which is gonna make sure your skin is protected throughout the night. Teej has tons of reviews from dedicated customers across the world. I know I said a lot, but it's okay, because guess what? It comes with an instruction card to explain to you in detail what to do morning and night. And because TJ is a sponsor, they're offering my family 30% off along with a free gift. Just click that link that's in the description and fill the TJ. You know what? Let me let me not let me take it off moms for a second. Y'all want to know what the problem is, and I'm gonna start making sure I say this and y'all hold me to account for this. It's some of these punk ass daddies because the daddy, sometimes the daddy's there and this dude don't be saying nothing. It's some of these punk ass daddies that just, well, you know, I just, you know, she said, don't, 
She said a new style of parent. Don't yell at the kid. Don't like what? What? Yo, when I see like I, I've never in my life wanted to assault somebody more than I wanted to assault a punk ass daddy whose kid is acting up while he's there, knowing they need his intervention and his pushback. And he don't do it. There, there's nothing that annoys me more than seeing a punk ass daddy like that. Miss Polly, you got it. Okay, so I actually was gonna say something about that. Um, and this is just from my own experience that this happened. Um, I, I did have that experience where I never really, like, I was always the one to being more like, my, you know, they know that I'm the one that's like no tolerance kind of person. Uh, and I never felt that until kind of it later in life where one of my partners was like, it was like almost as if he was protecting me from the kids. I know that sounds weird, but it, even though like I didn't quote unquote need, but it was like, he was like, oh, you ain't going to talk all wild. And I was like, wait a minute. Like I felt protected from these, these kids. Sometimes they act uh, like they just careless too. And it's kind of like that bond between you and that person also is like, they're protecting you as, as a unit away from those children. I know that sounds really strange, but if some of y'all know what I'm talking about, it, it it is a covering. So when you have a man in your life who is is not doing that, protecting you as also his partner, like, hey, you ain't gonna talk to my lady like that, regardless if you were a person or not. Uh it, it it's a different kind of role. And I think that also is is very helpful because it kind of lays down the that that line for your kids too to know that hey, like this is, you know, it's kind of like us against you, but not if you get what I'm saying, like I said, the parenting and child like place it separates that line. And if you don't have someone there helping assert that line, uh, it doesn't doesn't exist. And it is that wild. Children will play up on whatever parent they feel is more of the friend, right? They'll yeah. they'll they'll wedge themselves in between that couple, and it's imperative that, like you're saying, Polly, that most that the husband and wife are on the same page because that child is going to realize like, oh, mom's a little bit more weak to me. So what I'm going to do when daddy starts saying this, I'm going to go to mom and it is, and they're like, children can't be that malicious. Yes, they can. Their children, kids are smart. (laughs) Kids are smart. They're smarter than people think, you know, kids, what do they say that children um, gain the most growth of their brain. They they grow the most uh, mentally b- by the age of four, right? Between one and four years are the most critical years of your child's life. And a lot of people play around with those years, right? And they don't think, oh, my child's not paying attention to this, all this rap music and I'm playing around them. Or they're not, they not paying attention to all this cursing in the house. They're not paying. That's literally when they are the biggest sponge of mm-hmm. their entire life. Yep. And so- realizing and having that united front in your home is so critical um it it's like it's everything and trigger my like my husband he works from home so he he's been the person that they've seen the most at daycare and now at their new school Ryan's daycare and now at the new school so he don't say much because they scared of him but then they scared (laughs) of me because I do all the talking (laughs) Cause he's just big black man and he come in there and you know, he's smiling, but he, he keep it, he paying attention to yeah. everything. And then I come in, I'm like, okay, so my husband told me that <laughs> this was going on <laughs> or, mm-hmm. and, you know, I'm keeping up with the app. I, I like read it. every app, every email. So yep. they realize we are a united front, whatever he sees, he's coming to tell me whatever I read. I'm telling him. Yeah. So my wife said through email last night, y'all were, <laughs> mm-hmm. so they know do not play with us because we're talking every single day about our child I don't care if she's two we're having those conversations yep. every single day and so it's just really really important that um, when your child is going out into the world that people know who is behind them who who is raising them who's taking care of them and also know like your point of view I try to be very clear and calculated with my conversation with teachers and with administration, I let them know how we are, what we think, what what our ambi- what what our goal is with our child, right? So if something happens down the line, like old girl was saying in the video, like okay, I asked them to line up. She that person's gonna know. Okay, let me call you know Miss Casey because 
I already know they don't play about their child and they they believe in discipline. Yep. So they, they're going to come to me without hesitation so that we can nip something in the butt if my child's getting influenced at school or whatever, whatever, or what have you. So, yeah, that's <laughs> that's very important. Indeed. 